Hello everyone, this is going to be a very short video regarding how to register for your Microsoft Office certification. And this will be for any of the Microsoft certifications, so Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. What you will do is go to um, CWI's main page. You can use the search, I'm not a big fan of it, so I usually just go into current student because that's what you are, and you're going to go to assessment and testing. Once you click in here, you will be prompted to the um, web page for the assessment center. We are going to schedule your exam. Note that uh, you need a minimum of a 12 hour advanced registration. It's because you're not the only uh, folks getting ready to uh, take a final over there. I teach uh, uh, about four, three to four sections each semester of a Microsoft Office program and you figure about 25 to 30 students in each of those plus the other uh, faculty members on campus and so you guys get it, right? So they need a minimum of 12 hours. Um, of course, I'm making this video in the fall semester, um, so the holidays uh, closures are listed here. Spring semester, you will see spring break listed here, right? Um, so just be mindful of that. So uh, next week um, would be Thanksgiving week, uh, and so they are open, even including Wednesday, but they're closing pretty early. And then um, we've got some dates here. Now let me click here because we're going to schedule and once you go in you're going to get um, this next screen. Please click on the green uh, complete registration button at the next at the bottom of the page when you're all done um, or your exam will not be scheduled so you have to be careful. For those that have already scheduled and you think oh gosh I can't make it I need to reschedule this is where you you're going to need to go. Everyone else follow these steps. Number one, we are going to choose a place to take it. Um, because my office is in Ada, I'll just use this as an example. What group are you in? You are a student. Now, if you go here, this is for people that um, aren't necessarily students. They're community members. You're going to be charged. So, student exams. All right, what group are you in? I want the MOS certification exam for CWI students. And another group, we are in the ADMS MOS certification. This is uh, the class that you signed up for, the, the four letter prefix before the number, either 140, 141, or 142. So you want ADMS. What exam do you want? Well, you want to find me. So whether you're in Word, PowerPoint or Excel, it, it doesn't matter. Um, pick one of those courses that you're doing. Um, what this is is that your names have been sent over uh, from that from that faculty member. So Terry Harbachek is teaching another uh, word and Lindsay is teaching word and then Jenny Miller and then I'm teaching a section or two of each. So uh, just for kicks I'll choose word. All right. I've told you all along, uh, all semester, the test is 50 minutes and you've got 40 questions to answer, right? Um, and uh, we've already created our account for CertiPort, so don't worry about that. We did that at the beginning of the semester. You just should hopefully remember your username and password. Um, if you've had me uh, for any class, just like just for this class, I've told all students for Gmetrics, Certiport, and SimNet, use your same username and password that you use for uh, Blackboard when you sign on. That way you don't forget. All right, so if a candidate does not achieve passing on the first time around, you need 24 hours to wait. Here's what I think. You should actually wait a week. What will you know in 24 hours that you didn't know the day before? Nothing. So give it a week. I have left all of your SimNet uh, books open, your chapter readings. Go back and refresh yourself, right? Go back and do that. You can even do some of the pause and practice homework if you wanted to um, from each of the chapters. If you go into the chapter and you look at the table of contents, they have what's called pause and practice. You can do those. Um, and then if you don't pass your second time, you need to wait 48 hours. What I would do, I was I would wait another week to do that. So let's talk about choosing a date. 
Again, this is for the fall semester. I'm going to click to December. Um, if you're nervous about taking your test, I would study during Thanksgiving week. And then when you come back, schedule your test for the first. For those that don't pass, study through the weekend and then take it on the 8th. Everyone should pass it at least the second time, but if you're a student that didn't quite get there and you think you need to take it again, um, study through the weekend and then take it on the 13th or the 14th. Now, with that said, I have due dates for all of my classes, and that is December 14th. I need your test results, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Let me show you what choosing a date will look like. After you choose your date, go ahead and pick your time and then once you do that you're going to have this information here to fill out and then um, once you fill this out then this will highlight and then just say I agree and then um, needed information telephone number and then add to cart. Um, let me go back just for a second um, I, I want to be clear and uh, that I need your transcripts basically from Certiport. After you take your test, you could actually uh, ask the assessment center in Nampur or Ada to give you a copy of your test results. Or if they say no, you're going to go ahead and go to certiport.com, log in, and there is a button that says My Transcript. You are going to click on that and um, I'm logged into a different view so you can't really see mine but in this area your transcripts will be listed for every MOS certification that you pass two things are going to be in here your transcript that shows your test score so it's a thousand points for all test Word, PowerPoint and Excel you only need 700 to pass and it will break down the different sections of your scores the other thing you will find in here is your certificate. Um, it's a nice shade of blue with this big gold star that says, hey, you passed your certification. And that's what you would use in like in a portfolio. Um, so if you were in my program, I have my uh, graduating class uh, create an actual portfolio as a project and we put those in there. So those are nice. I don't want that though. I want your actual test score. If you fail to bring me your test score, you will get a zero um, and that will hurt your grade because your final is worth 20% and it doesn't matter if you're in my Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. They're all the same. It is worth 20% of your grade. So let's just say you didn't pass. I don't care. Bring me your test score. Any test score is better than a zero, right? So if you scored 300, that's 30%. I know that that's not passing, but 30% is still better than 0%. Um, I have four sections of Microsoft Office that I'm teaching. I probably will not be uh, um, tracking each student down. It's too much for me. Um, you have to be responsible for your own uh, learning and you need to um, bring me your information. I would appreciate that and it'll be a little bit easier for me. Um, so uh, let me just bring up, um, this is just happens to be Word, and I'm going to go into um, the course schedule. This is for all of my classes, by the way. The date's all the same. Let me show you this so that there won't be any questions. Um, and this one's not highlighted, but I say December 14th. I need your test results. No exceptions. Now, um, let me just show you... Uh, one of the PowerPoint classes, doesn't matter which one, I've got two sections of those, um, exact same thing. And let me just scroll down. All right, the 14th. Now notice that I didn't put a time. There's no time in there. I don't care what time of day you get that to me. I've had students take a picture with their, with their cell phone and email it to me. That's fine. You can actually just email it, um, do a PDF copy that's fine. If you happen to take it in Ada or in even in Nampa and you over in my building, you can put it in my box. I just need it Thursday night. Because when I get in Friday, December 15th, I'm doing grades and my grades will all be done by noon that Friday. Um, 
yeah so there you have it this is it I have enjoyed all of my classes um, with each and every one of you if you um, get stuck you all know what to do you use the ask dr. Barnes a question tab um, and for those that are in my online classes please don't forget to do the evaluations those are coming up in the next week or two here alrighty everybody good luck and keep in contact with me so that I can help you with any uh, final questions as you uh, gear up for your finals Take care, everyone.